How's it going guys? This is Nick and I'm bringing you another video. And before I get started, this is my buddy Lenny. I've known him for a long time. And we are doing a video on a Sig Sauer MPX and a Chris Vector. They're both a 9mm and they are both Gen 2s. So if anybody's in the market for maybe one of these guns and kind of want an opinion or a standpoint on which one they want, we're going to be giving our honest input on both of these guns. So before things, before we start things off, guns are empty. Uh, these were safety checked before we started the video, just showing you again. Okay, so before we start things off with the guns, we're kind of going to show you slightly an unboxing. I'm going to put them back in there, the red dots will not fit back in the box. So the MPX, all you get is this little cardboard box. The Gen 1, you get a nice hard case. Gen 2, you just get a cardboard box, which I don't understand because the price of the gun was pretty high. So in the box, I got a 30 round magazine. The gun itself, the SIG brace, usually goes here but it was already attached on my gun and then other stuff I got a sling mount paperwork a lock and some of the six ammunition papers that's about it on the MPX uh, as far as the Chris Vector um, comes with a lot better box than what the, the SIG does um, actually comes with a uh, Chris imprinted uh, gun box. Um, it is a hard box. Um, inside of it uh, has, you know, your basic things. Um, comes with the, the safety manual and everything. Uh, comes with some cleaning wipes, uh, your gun lock, and the uh, bore cleaner uh, for the gun itself. Um, unfortunately, with the red dot side on it now, I really can't put it in the box unless I take it apart. But other than that, it comes with a much nicer carrying case for traveling purposes. Alrighty, so next we're going to talk about the guns. And first, how we're going to get started is we're going to go down uh, what we like from front to back on our own guns, and then the cons about it, and we'll switch and talk about the pros and cons about each other's guns. But a fourth thing, before we get things started, just kind of show you more of each gun. MPX. So there is the MPX. And the vector. Alrighty, so I will start, and I said we'll work from the front and then go to the back. So when I bought this gun, I bought mine last December, and you recently just bought yours a month ago? About a month ago, yeah. Alright, so I've had mine a little bit longer. I have put roughly 600 rounds through mine, and how much you put through mm -hmm. yours? Say right around 300, okay. right around 300 rounds. So before we talk about the guns though, a uh, little funny story. Last December we were at our local gun store and we saw the Chris Vector and MPX. I was leaning towards a Vector, I went in there just looking around, saw, I've always known a Vector from video games, movies, always look like a badass gun. So before I wanted to buy a gun, just rush it without knowing any reviews or anything about the gun, I started doing reviews, and at the time, there was not many reviews on a Gen 2. It was only on the Gen 1s, and the Gen 1s did not have great reviews. So that kind of threw me off with getting a Vector, so then, saw the MPX, liked the way it looked, it was chambered to 9mm, loved SIG, and I did not know much about the gun, so I started doing reviews on the MPX, and did not see any bad reviews, and so I chose the MPX. So, I paid $15.99 for 
and then I bought two extra 20 round mags. So I paid out the door for the gun. It was $15.99, but after everything, I paid $18.50 for two mags, the gun, and after tax. How much you pay on the vector? Uh, MSRP for for this gun. Um, this is the uh, SDP version uh, since it's got the SIG brace on it um, and the five and a half inch barrel. Um, MSRP for this is I believe right around fifteen hundred. Um, for the gun itself, I it got right around thirteen hundred. Um, got a little bit cheaper than than MSRP. Um, unfortunately, it comes with one Glock seventeen mag. Um, you know, standard 17, 17 round mag, but that's all you get. You get for right around fifteen hundred bucks, you get one mag. That's kind of a, a downfall to that, but uh, right around fifteen hundred bucks for for this out the door. Yeah, so both pretty expensive guns. All right, so front to back, the pros on each of our own guns. Let's see, the pro on the front that I noticed when I've been shooting is I love the key mod rail and the way it feels in my hand. I just, that hand saw that came on it, it just got a good feel and I got pretty good control of the weapon when I'm firing it. So not millimeter, I don't have much recoil anyways, but I just had a good feel on the gun. So that is the first thing I like about the, say, front of the gun. Um... With mine, with the Vector, there, there's not much of the front of a gun to it. Um, you know, with the MPX, you know, you've got the, the full uh, full handguard. With this, you've got um, a very small um, Picatinny rail on the bottom. I've got two little uh, Picatinny guards on it just because I don't have anything on it yet. Um, you do have the option on both sides to put the, the Vector rail on the left side. And on the right side, so you can mount, you know, flashlight, laser, whatever you want to put on it. Um, the the vertical grip right here, that's you know, on the gun itself, is is really kind of a good, you know, hand place of, to put your hand. Anyways, you know, you get good grip on it um, with the vector. All your all your buttons that you need, mag, you know, mag release is right here. Bolt catch, everything is right here to charge it. So you know, everything's in one place. You can, you know, keep your your front hand where it needs to be and hit hit everything you need um, right there so uh, it's got the five and a half inch barrel on it it does not come with a uh, any kind of muzzle brake on it at all um, it does have a cap on it you know if you want to put a muzzle brake on it um, or a suppressor if you've got one anything like that um, comes with the the magpul inbus um, sights on it um, as well but you know compared to the the, the sig you know there's not much of a you know, a, a handguard on it, but, you know, the, the integrated one that it comes with is good enough for me. All right, move on down. What is another thing you like about the back? Well, the, the look itself really catches my eye. I mean, this is something that, you know, you'd find in Halo or something, you know, some kind of futuristic game um, or, or movie, really, for that matter. Um, has a, a weird look, but it's a it's a good weird, you know. It's it's comfortable in your hands. It's lightweight, pretty much all polymer, um, easy to break down. You got three pins, two top ones right here, and a bottom one. And this whole bottom part comes apart. You can take it apart, clean it. Um, you actually have multiple guns in one. Um, you take this bottom part off. You know this one's chambered in my nine millimeter. Also, I've got you know a couple other nine millimeter guns also. So kind of kept it simple um, since these do take the Glock mags, you know, interchange with, you know, Glocks that I have already. So you can actually take this whole gun apart uh, with three pins um, and take it from a nine millimeter or, you know, a different caliber, you know, if you want it. Comes in uh, the nine millimeter, 45, 10 millimeter, 40, and 357 SIG. So, you know, it's really easily interchangeable between everything to, to you know, make it a different caliber if you choose to. All right, so, hmm. Yeah, so what he, I guess I can say what he was saying, the looks of the gun. When I first saw this, kind of just looked like to me a, a smaller AR 9mm pistol. Um, let's see, talk about the rail. Moving down, I love another, my favorite thing probably about the MPX is the grip. This, the grip it comes with is a solid grip. It's got 
good width to it, got good control of the gun. Uh, another thing I like. Yeah, so the look, this is the look of the MPX when I saw this. Because I know when he first saw this gun, he liked this and wanted this before he did the Vector. And I was opposite. I actually like the look of the Vector better, but chose this instead. Um, like I said, the grip and moving down, the weight of the whole gun. It's not a light gun for what it is, a 9mm, but it's got a good solid weight when you shoot. Very recoil management and just easy to get a hold of. Good feel of your hands. I know you got your rail here you can hold on to, but another thing when I shoot a little bit longer distances, my hand will slide down more near the mag well. And like I said, everything just, it's got a good feel to the gun. Um, I didn't talk about this, but these sights, he talked about his mag full sights. My, what I like better about the MPX and the Vector, the flip up sights are your HK style. If you can see it, they're your HK style and they're metal. So say you get your polymer mag pull that could break before metal would. Like I, said, I like the HK style flip up sights on the MPX and it's a little bit more pricey than I would say mag pull and better made. So, but for the MPX, that's the pros out of the gun is, like I said, just the way it shoots is probably my favorite thing about the MPX. Very easy to shoot. Very, it shoots very well. Like I said you got good recoil management. Nine millimeters not hard to recoil anyways. Especially now that we can legally shoulder sig brace. Thank you ATF for doing that. Thanks for finally doing something good and not letting us down this time after it probably took forever. Because I was almost about to buy the telescoping stock from SIG for this. Pay $200, wait seven months. But now you save me a lot of money and I can legally shoulder this now and shoot a little bit better. So that was my pros for the MPX. How did he explain his pros for the Vector? Yep. A couple more things with the Vector too. Um, it comes in a couple different variations. Um, like I said, this one's the SDP. Um, you have the rifle version. Um, that comes with a 16 inch barrel uh, with a barrel shroud on it um, and a, a different actual stock. Um, you know, this is a this is uh, Chris's version of the the uh, SP tactical brace. Um, you know, so, you know, again, it's got the, the Magpul Embus. Both of them actually have um, the six hour Romeo 5 uh, red dot sight. Um, we actually both put them on very recently, both just sighted them in within a couple of days. Um, Mine sighted in at 25 yards, I believe his is also. Pinpoint accuracy with both guns. Um, very accurate guns. With, with these red dots. So very, very good um, sight for these, these type of guns. Um, you know, again, with the, since this is chambered in 9mm, obviously 9mm is not going to have any recoil anyways, but shooting this gun is very fun. It, it's almost at a 22 level. I mean, there's no recoil on it. Um, especially with Chris's uh, recoil mitigation on it. Um, it. It virtually takes all the recoil away. Um, you know, so shooting this thing is a breeze. Um, it's very fun to shoot. Um, so, you know. You know, what he was saying though, I forgot to mention about the brace. I thought our braces were the same. He, like I said, his is made for the Chris Vector. And mine is actually the Six Sour Sig Brace. So like I said, they both, I mean, they look a little bit different. Now we can shoulder them, I'd say, after handling both these guns. And by the way, we have not got to shoot each other's guns. So we're giving our honest in opinion right now of what they feel, look, triggers, and so on. So he shot his, I've shot mine. He likes shooting the Vector, I love shooting the MPX. So like I said, that's, so they're both good guns. And size comparison, his is a little bit smaller and I also have where it's not hard to travel his or anything, but the bag I usually do the range or have my car, I can actually fold my brace up. So that makes it a lot shorter now. And I usually store it in a Oakley kitchen sink backpack, which fits very well with this. So, all right. So after pros, this is always the fun part. We're going to go to cons on the gun. So we'll start from front to back. If you want to start off first, as I did the first time. Okay. Um, Really, the, uh, you know, one of the big, I guess, negatives for me on this gun is is the front part of it. Um, you know, there's not really that many places to, to hold the gun itself, um, you know, with your support hand. 
Um, if you are a right-handed shooter, um, a lot of a lot of problems that people complain about with is holding it right here. A lot of people tend to hit the mag release with it, and also I've even noticed with myself is holding the the, the bolt catch um, to where you're firing it. I accidentally am holding it and it locks the bolt back. I go to pull the trigger again and it doesn't fire. Um, so that's one thing I've had to kind of reposition myself with um, holding this this gun. Um, is hand placement. You know, if you if you put your hand up under here, five and a half inch barrel, you, you know, you obviously want to watch your finger with it too. Um, so that's one of the biggest complaints with this with this firearm is not many places to hold it. I've got a uh, I got a aluminum anodized uh, angled foregrip coming for it. You know, since we can't do vertical with the the pistol version of this, um, so we'll see how that goes too. Yeah. Um, you know, so hopefully that helps out a little bit. Um, even though it has the the rail uh, bolt, it's got you know little places to put the rail. It doesn't come with the rail. So right now, as of you know, as of right now, there's really nowhere to place a uh, flashlight, laser, you know, or whatever you want to put on it. Because um, if you put a, a foregrip or something on the front, it takes up that whole that whole rail. Um, so there's really nowhere to, to, to put it at that point. Um, so as far as the, the front portion, front end of this gun, you know, that's about the only complaint. Um, charging the weapon's easy. Um, whole different system, charging-wise and everything, than, than the SIG. Um, you know, you've got your, your charging handle here that actually folds in and out. You know, so it's, it's out of the way when you need it to, but it's there when you need it. Um, you know, it, it charges easy. You know, it's, it's you know, solid construction, you know, but... Um, that, that's the biggest complaint with the the front of this gun is, is your hand placement and where all the you know the button mechanisms and everything with it are are also. All right, so um, first thing I noticed when I got this gun, pair of the Vector, you got your nice threaded barrel already on it. All you have to do take the thread protector off, pop on the suppressor, you're all set. But this, you got your just little bird cage. That you would on an AR, which I could always replace it, but see how it got around there. Was not really a fan, just kind of too plain. I talked about I love the key mod rail, and I love the way it feels, but if you look at it compared to the vector, kind of looks a little plain. If you see all this going on here, and you got your, like I said, his, where he puts his hand here, and you just got this. So that it may look plain, it is you got a good grip to it. It's a little plain in my opinion if you look at the vector for the front. Um, now let's say, moving down, where his, where he puts his hand out, I told you earlier, I can kind of want to shoot longer range, have my hand kind of supporting at the magwell. Got good grip, but I've noticed holding that, I have a little bit better hand placement, and I can probably control it better if I held it there. Um, uh, he thought about getting a vertical foregrip. I thought about it, but I'm actually just going to leave the hand stop that comes with it. Um, angled foregrip. Angled foregrip. It's a yeah. that. Sorry to you. So, the only, and another thing with this hand stop is, if you're shooting it pretty aggressive and shooting a good couple hundred rounds through it, uh, at the range for consistently, this is a little sharp here if you're not wearing gloves, and it'll start kind of getting into your hand if you have it here shooting. Oh my god, of course you would. If you're shooting a little too aggressively, it'll start getting into your hand, but it hasn't really affected me that much yet. I've noticed that today, shot a good bit of it today, and I started noticing, starting to jab my hand. Um, that's probably the con I have about the MPX. The front, definitely, birdcage. Hand stop, a little plain, just the whole look of it's kind of plain up front. Kind of looks like your plain AR. So, um, moving next on the gun, cons. Here's the biggest con I have on the MPX by far. And this is what I saw in the reviews that a lot of people play about. The trigger is awful. It is very gritty. I can rapid fire this gun pretty good, but the trigger is just, it's very, it's not a smooth trigger. And it definitely, for expensive, it's most, if this gun being that expensive, they could have done a better trigger on this. I have a SIG 320, love, I know that's a completely different gun, they're both pistols, 
both 9mm, but the trigger sucks on the MPX, and I will be upgrading this trigger. Don't know what I'll get yet, but will be upgrading the trigger because biggest con on the MPX so far that I've noticed. Um, uh, another thing about the con would be the way his gun takes down. I know basically this is the gun itself, is that lower receiver. It's very small. Take that off, he can pop on a 45, he's good, or another barrel. He's set. Um, like I said, being plain, everybody loves their ARs, I love my ARs, but being plain, this breaks down just like a AR. You got your pin here, you got your pin here. When he saw about his charging handle earlier, when he's shooting, and I saw him this earlier, when he's shooting, he can reach around without moving his, his trigger finger, having his gun set on the grip, and just rack it. Me on that MPX, being, it's like an AR, being close to my face, either I can move my shooting hand, or move out of my face a little bit, because it's hit me in the face, then reposition and go in. So I do not, yes, I like the AR solid charging handles, but being this small, I do not like having to adjust, then going back into my scope, for my red dot. So, like I said, trigger, the way it's set like an AR, being in a small frame package, that's my cons on that. Again, with the uh, you know breakdown feature of this, kind of taking a step back, back to the positives. Um, yeah, as I just took it apart, three pins, you, you have disassembled the gun. You can access the bolt. One more pin will drop the bolt. Um, very easy to, 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 you know, take apart and put back together. It takes three pins to do it. And, 10 seconds if you, you know if, if you're fast with it um anyways back to back to the cons um the vector did come with the the magpul flip up sights um i like magpul flip up sights i have them on my ar pistol um my ar rifle so i'm a fan of the other magpul sights on this gun they're not the greatest um I've got it. I've got them sighted in at 25 yards, and they they they're doing all right. Close range, this gun shoots very low. If you're if you're shooting um, 10 yards or closer, which you know with something like this, you you know it's probably going to be a short range kind of weapon. Um, shoots very low. If you're you know aiming at the at the center chest, you're going to hit more in the stomach area. That was one of the the cons to the these sights. I've even thought about taking these sights off and just running the red dot sight. Um, well, if your scope goes out, <laughs> well, have you never played Call of Duty when the EMP grenade goes off and you can still shoot people? That's what I would do. Of course, we're all on a video if game. You, if you know how to aim, yeah, that's just mm -hmm. one of those things. But you know, it to each is their own. You know, as far as you know, your sights, your flip up sights. You know, I could always replace these, find something else. Race no, ATF. Stop. Sorry, um, I forgot to company. mention. Whenever he's talking about his gun shooting low. When I got this right out of the box, I'm gonna go shoot it. These sights, I love the sights, but the, just the front and rear flip up sights. He, I was telling him today, actually. That's your front. You said the front and the rear. You, they're, they're backwards. You know what I mean? They've got but them. these, he was talking about his gun shooting low. My gun was shooting low and to the right. Um, I was shooting about two inches, two, two and a half inches low, and about two inches to the right. Um, I got the farther range, and it was it started getting more on target. But shooting low, about 15 yards or less, it was it was shooting pretty low. Um, last thing, I don't know how I forgot to mention y'all about the con. Another about MPX, the magazines. This is a 30 round that came with it. I bought he actually bought me an extra one for Christmas. I bought two extra 20 round mags, seventy dollars. $70. I could buy three of these Glock mags, sometimes maybe even almost four. 33 rounds from Midway USA. They go on sale all the time for like 25 bucks. 33 round factory Glock Not mags. Not on sale. And um, these mags are loaded, yes. We've already showed you the guns are not loaded. But all the, most of the ammunition we shoot, if you can see that, we have been buying from Stan One Armory. We were in the process a couple months ago looking for bulk ammo. And I mentioned I've seen some YouTubers shooting Stan 1 Armory ammunition. Um, and saw some people on Instagram 
Check out the company. I like their $8 flat rate shipping. We checked them out. We have bought multiple. We bought 223. This is the 9 millimeter, 115 grain. 115 grain full metal jacket, 9 millimeter. Yeah, love the ammo. Never had a problem with it. I've shot it out of this gun, my other nines. I've shot the 223 ammo. Love their ammunition. We will continue buying from Stand One. Um, so pretty, pretty much every round that's been through this has been from Stand One. Um, Same here. I have, what some of the biggest complaints from the Chris Vector are uh, the ferry to ejects, stove pipes, couple things like that. Um, you know, like I said in the beginning, roughly 300 rounds have been through this gun, and all of it has been pretty much the stand one um, nine millimeter. And I have I have yet to have a failure to eject or anything. Not one malfunction out of this firearm yet. Um, I haven't cleaned it not one time since I got it out of the box, um, just to see how basically how long I could shoot it before it would you know start jamming on me or not feed properly or something. Um, been great. So, very good ammo, clean ammo, good looking, look, looks just like, you know, store-bought ammo. Um, so it's good stuff. But, so. So that was on our takes. So, like I said, we have not shot each other's guns yet. I wanted this gun, he wanted this gun, kind of switch. So now, we're going to talk about each other's guns, what we like and do not like about them. So, if you want to start out with MPX, okay. and I'll follow in. Um, basically, with, with the MPX, I, I love the gun in general. It's a it's a awesome gun. Shoots great. Uh, from you know what what he's telling me, like I said, I haven't shot it yet. Um, I do like having the you know the key mod for you know foregrip on it or you know rail everything. You know more more to hang on to in the front um, compared to the to the vector. Um, you know, as far as the, you know, main body area, to me it's just like an AR. It's just a fancier AR. Um, you know, your, all your, you know, your charging handle, you know, mag release, you know, everything's in the same spot that AR, AR is. So on that perspective, I guess that's a positive because, you know, if you have an AR and you know how to work an AR effectively, then you know how, you would know how to work this. I mean, it, Everything's pretty much in the same just the same position. Um, you know, it's a it's a sweet looking gun. Um, you know, hopefully I'll be able to shoot it at some point. Um, one of the one of the downfalls, in my opinion, is not that the 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 sig brace folds, but just the direction that it folds in. Yeah, no um, problem with that. Folds to the left, you know, as you can see. Um, it's hard to shoot like that, by the way, with your left hand getting blocked yep. by the brace. You know, the SIG brace, not the stock, folds. It's just the direction that it folds <laughs> in. Brace. Folds to the left. I personally don't like it. I'm a right-handed shooter, so if I'm holding it, you know, with my left hand, you know, the brace is completely in the way. Um, you know, all your, your bolt catch and everything, you can't access it. Um, you can slightly get to your uh, your safety selector, well, just because it's ambidextrous, anyways. But I don't like the way it folds. Me personally, I'd I prefer it to fold on the other, towards the other side. Um, you know, but overall, awesome gun. You know, it looks great. Um, you know, it's a Sig. You can't go wrong with a Sig, anyways. So, yep. um, you know, multiple slots on the on the handguard for attachment. You know, rails, anything like that. So. I think it's pretty solid. It seems pretty solid to me. All right, so since he wants you abuse my gun so much, we're gonna abuse the Vector. No, I'm messing with you. Okay, so Vector, pros and cons on it. Uh, so with pros. If I went to a store, didn't know anything about firearms, and I saw these two guns, based on looks, I would buy the Vector. Like he said earlier, it's like a futuristic. It doesn't look, look a badass weapon. That's why I was leaning more towards this gun is the looks because the looks just this gun you pull one of these out if you're showing some friends or family members your gun collection they want to see your guns you pull this out they're gonna be what the hell is that because they probably have not seen this before or have only seen it on movies or video games like I said looks in this gun love the look of the vector 
I will have one, so don't get mad if I cop you. He always cop you. Um, so he wants my 19 now, so. We like the same guns, like I said, we're both gun enthusiasts, we like the same, have the same taste in guns, like I said, looks pro on this. Um, told you earlier, I like the way that this feels compared to my hand out here on the rail. Do not a call on this gun, I do not like have nothing to work with though. To say if I end up starting to shoot and want to go long range, I'm right here, my thumb is touching the barrel. So my hands when I have to constantly stay down, which is good about this being angled here, you can't really slide up without having to extend out. So that's a good thing right here, it's not gonna let you go up. Um, talk about the MPX being like an AR. I do not like having to rearrange, racking it, and going back in. This is right here. And I do not have to move. I'm still aimed in with my sight. I'm ready to go. Um, I noticed what he said earlier. I had not shot this, but his finger will sometimes catch the bolt release. I could see that. So that's one thing I don't know if I really like that, being get your plain Jane key mod rail there. I don't be touching anything, can't touch the barrel, nothing like that. Um, con Magpul sights. I have them on almost any of my guns as backup sights, but I'd rather have a little bit nicer metal sights that they're not gonna crack or if they get dropped, mess up. But I mean, Magpul's a good company, so can't really complain about them. Um, the trigger, so we have not fired these, but just messing around dry firing. This, I can tell just dry firing, is way better than the MPX trigger. That trigger, don't want to be harsh and long gun, but that trigger sucks. That's one word I can put for it, it sucks. So, this trigger actually felt nice, it's got a little bit of take up, a little bit of creep, but it felt like a nice trigger. And this, the, the trigger on the Gen 2 is actually, they bettered it, uh, for lack of a better word, in, in the Gen 2 than the Gen 1. The Gen 1 trigger was more of a, a sliding trigger, as to this one is more is a, a pivoting trigger so it's that was a big complaint too with the gen the gen ones was that 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 style trigger the upgrade of the trigger um awesome trigger um now in the gen twos also um another pro these are almost the same you look at them kind of feel a little difference that's the, that's the sig brace this the crisp brace no this is not rendered to give you more padding for your shoulder and mess with the brace where it could be used as a stock. But there's a part here, since we can shoulder it now, that'll kind of, it's not that comfy in the back compared to getting a nice rubber pad right here basically is what it is. A little bit more comfortability. Um, weight, let's see, what were you going to say about the, oh, he said it earlier, I'm going to mention it when he made his dumbass comment about EMP grenades in video games. Does not have a sling mount. Mm -mm. Uh, unless you want to take one of these off and put one of those little, I think they're Magpul to go up here. I don't know if I want a sling. I mean, mine's pretty far up, but the sling that came with mine, I mean, it came with this nice sling by Armageddon, and it's, it's a little sling mount. Pops in and pops out. So, you ever put a sling in? I'm going to smack you with my sling. <laughs> So like I said, I like the sling that came with that. So, um, good guns. Um, I do like how his safety is up here with my, my thumb instead of being a little bit more in the middle like your normal saw AR would be or any kind of rifle would be. I do like that. Um, is there anything, pros and cons that you want to say about one of these guns before we end it? I think the main con with, with the, the SIG um, that I can't believe I didn't cover a minute ago. <sighs> these. These things are expensive as hell. And well, that's just about it. They're expensive as hell. I want four more of the 30 rounders. It would cost me a little over $280 for four magazines. Another $100, $200 I could buy another gun. So yes, mags suck on this. If you want to have a stockpile of mags, you would a Glock or an AR. This would not be a gun unless you just had the money and want to drop some money on mags. I have four mags, two 30s, two 20s. I like to have four more of these, but that might take a little bit of time. Keep buying guns. So, with the mags, with the vector, um, like I said before, it takes it takes Glock mags. Um, your Glock 17 mag, like I said, it comes with one of them. Um, 
you know, it, that's that's the kind of fixed flush. Yes, there is ammo in the mag. No, I'm not changing. Uh, loaded. Um, you know, it, it fits it fits flush. Um, you know, with the gun itself. Um, like I said before, Midway USA. Um, they sell the. It's actually a 31 round mag with the plus two extension on the bottom of it, so 33 rounds. Um, you know, it sticks out just a little bit. Looks pretty cool with it. You get 33 rounds and the nine millimeter. You know, I think with the four, uh, the 45 caliber, I think there's like 23, 22 rounds. I don't know, something like that. Um, and real quick about mag, when he's mentioning it right now, before we forget. Um, like I said, the Gen ones, I saw some issues with aftermarket mags. I have seen some good. And bad reviews about P mags. These are ETS. I love these in my Glock. I would choose an ETS mag for the price over this if I put it in my 19. Cannot say about this is I've not shot this gun with either mag. He will be testing ETS mags and we will let you know how they work. And if any of you have a vector and have shot ETS or P mags, please let us know in the comments. We want to get your input because that was one of the negative things I saw about the vector. Gen 1s though, Gen 2s I saw a little bit uh, with failure to feed or they would jam up. So if, like I said, if y'all have a vector with any aftermarket mags, please let us know. So I know he's interested in the ETS and the P mags. Yeah. I've got the ETS, I've got one ETS, you know, obviously this one. Uh, I haven't actually used it yet, I haven't shot with it yet. And I've also got a uh, Magpul's version of the, uh, I think it's a 21 round mag. Midway USA sells it also. It's like twelve bucks. Love our Midway USA. Yeah, it's like twelve bucks. So I mean, if they work, they'll be great because they're a lot cheaper than still your Glock mags. Um, these are usually like thirty-five bucks, thirty-six dollars on Midway um, in stores around here um, for like fifty. Um, you know, so these these mags, I'll kind of show you what it what it looks like. Um, I think it looks badass. For clear mag. Yeah, clear, seeing the bullets yeah, in it. Clear mag. You can see it. Also with ETS, um, you know, you can change the, the color um, of the, the, you know, inside the mag also. So that's, to me, one of the biggest, biggest things because we both love Glock. We both have Glocks. You know, having the, the, you know, universal awesome Glock mags you can put in your, you know, our 19 or, you know, 26, whatever you carry. Um, you know, as far as, as these, you can't. It's, it's. This mag goes to that gun, and that's all you get. So that that to me is a big thing um, with the with the Sig. But overall, I'm sure Nick will agree. Um, either one you go with, you will not gun, regret either you know, one. You won't. So if you choose a vector of the MPX, you won't regret it. If you choose this over a vector, you will not regret. They're both great shooting pistols. Like I said, they have not let us down. I know they're pretty new to us. But for the size, for being a nine millimeter, not expensive ammo, and it's the way they shoot and the looks of the guns are badass guns. You won't go wrong with either one you choose. Um, if one of y'all do decide to buy one, please let us know in the comments down below. Um, just want to see y'all. We want to see your guys' inputs. <laughs> we want to see your guys' inputs too of what you like. And say if you don't have one, if you like the Vector or the MPX, just let us know which one you guys like. I said I wanted that one. He wanted this one. We we'll got the opposite. Yeah. So you can. Like I said you will not be disappointed with either one. But like I said, good buddy of Landon, I appreciate him bringing out his vector and doing this video with me. He will be in multiple videos in the near future. On we have a lot of things coming up for you guys to show you gun videos, range videos, EDC videos, our shit the fan gear, guns, all of our stuff about guns and. EC and gear related so if you like this video please like and subscribe and we hope you guys have a good one thanks for watching